What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon news update video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about discarded Pokemon designs from the first generation. Now, this is everywhere coming from a Twitter user, but I'm going to use my information that where I got it from and that is Game Informer. I'm have the first link in the description of the article to check it out. During a recent broadcast on the Japanese network NHK TV, the network aired some images they received from the Pokemon developer Game Freak made during the development of the first Pokemon games. The generation that created our favorites like Charizard, Pikachu, and more. These images shows the progression of Pokemon designs that later became the monsters we know and love today. Yada, yada, yada. The article goes on and on and on about their thoughts. If you want to check out Game Informer's thoughts, again, I'm going to have it linked in the description below, but I just got to jump into to these images and give you guys my thoughts on everything that we see because they are amazing now the first images we see is like the first page of capsule monsters which obviously is a idea of what turned out to be the opening cinematic for the red green and blue games i don't want to leave yellow out there but in yellow they don't have this iconic scene of like gengar finding nidorino which i'm going to show on screen but in this original drawing you could clearly see what it looks like to be anyway Gengar fighting Charizard instead of the Nidorino so obviously they probably changed it in the design I would love fucking Charizard in that intro and then you also see a player trainer also throwing the Pokeball I think it looks pretty cool jumping over to the next image we see what it looks like to be Rhydon standing behind a trainer again you could tell it's a trainer you see the Pokeballs on its belt inside of a cave you can't really tell anything else from that and what got the internet buzzing of course this final image which showcased about 14 pokemon some we could clearly make out more than others and others just look completely different from what we have today so starting from the top left of the screen you could clearly see a character holding a bone and because of the numbers on the screen in the little icon the umbrella icon it looks like you can't clearly make out out the face but yeah we got cubone in the top left corner to the right of cubone we have pincer which again looks like pincer and then to the right of pincer we have what it looks like to be a scyther but with smaller wings and a huge ass and like bigger claws it looks dope i'm not gonna lie it looks like almost like a, a pre-evolution or an evolution to the cypher that we have today it does look cool it looks more evil it looks like a devil's face like look at the horns on scyther like it looks evil as fuck but they obviously changed it for whatever reason it does look familiar to the gen 1 sprites that are in the original games but to what we got today this is a totally different scyther r.i.p bring this badass devil looking scyther back and then to the right of scyther we have an og lapras with a horn and a lapras looks like lapras you can kind of tell it's lapras nothing too much to say there to the right of lapras we have tentacle which again looks exactly like tentacle then we have ghastly starting the second row which looks like ghastly then we have rhyhorn which again looks like rhyhorn and then we have arcanine which looks the same ish it looks like he has the stance of what he does in the gen 1 games but you know it's clearly arcanine you could clearly make it out that that's arcanine and that's that pokemon and then to the right of arcanine is like the big what the f fuck <laughs> it's a fucking giant worm monster it looks like now a lot of people are pointing their fingers and saying hey this is gyarados and i would have to agree because we're talking about gen 1 pokemon and what gen other gen 1 pokemon is basically a fucking worm with his huge mouth open i would have to lean towards gyarados now just to clarify i do like this idea of a pokemon glad that they did switch it up for gyarados i am a huge fan of the character model gyarados has today 
today. So if it would have looked more like this giant worm monster out of Men in Black, that would have looked kind of weird, especially in a kids game. So I could kind of see why they wanted to switch out of that and kind of move away from that idea entirely. But this still looks pretty cool. Bring back Worm Gyarados as an evolution or something in the future. Um, and then we have Cloyster. Cloyster looking like Cloyster. Kind of looks like, again, a ghastly inside of a shell. We all know that. Now, this one is, is getting a lot of people buzzing because a lot of people are saying, oh, it's Kangaskhan. A lot of people are saying, no, it's Rhydon. Let me know what you think. I'm leaning towards the fact that it could be Rhydon because of the shading. You can't really see too much. It does look like it has the pouch of a Kangaskhan, but at the same time, it has the horn of the Rhydon. That's why I'm leaning towards the Rhydon. But at the same time, it, it does look like it has two horns on the face with two horns in the back. And if you ask me, that could have been a dope concept for a Kangaskhan without the baby again. It's all up to how you look at that image and how do you see it. Some people say it's there's three horns on the back and one horn in the front. Other people are saying there's two horns in the front and two horns in the back. It it's all depends on how you see the image. To me, it looks like Rhydon rather than Kangaskhan. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And of course, we have Blastoise to round out that bottom row. And then we have Staryu, under Staryu, you have Tangela, and they both look kind of the same. You know, they Tangela looks a little different, but it's Tangela is just basically a web monster. Not too much to go off there. That's going to be it as far as the images that were posted. Let me know your thoughts on these original designs. Are you digging them? Are you not? Do you think they should have used these original designs in the game? Or do you think they should stick to what they put in the game? Because what they put in the game was eventually turning out to be for the best. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.